What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now you've seen that title so you know what I'm making. I'm getting ready to show you guys just how, when I tell you easy, easy and simple, just how easy and simple it is to make a chicken chow mein. Hey, super easy. So let's get right into these ingredients so we can just, you know, make it happen. Now look, I got diced onions. You can make the onions however you would like. Look, I got some like, I just cut these. These are some carrots. You see how I cut them. Just try to make them about two inches. So anything close to that, just so that it's gonna photograph well, right? We got some celery. And then we got the tops of some green onions, right? Over here we got oyster sauce. And then we got soy sauce. Now this is what I'm gonna do once I get it all in my walk, right? Oh, gotta show this right here. Hey, listen, this is the star of the whole thing, right? And that's my uh, chicken breast. Look, this is just boneless, skinless, you know, some free range chicken, yada, yada, yada. Hey, but this is what I got. Pick this up right here. And this right here is soy sauce. We got cornstarch and white pepper. And we got a couple tablespoons of uh, water, right? This right here is when I cut these down, we gonna cut these into like some thin strips. We gonna put it in this bowl right here. Once we put it in a bowl, we gonna mix these three bowls right here inside the chicken. So look, I'm not gonna over talk it. Look, we finna get right into it. So let's make it happen. Okay, so I got my chicken out. It's clean. So what I'm gonna do is I just wanna cut some strips out of here, right? So let's just go ahead and cut them like this. You want them to be thin. That way when we put them in the wok, you know what I mean? They cook up, you know, nice and fast and they kind of like to stay universal. You know, as far as like the timing goes, that's good. These are a little long. On this one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this like at an angle like that. Just only because I'm trying to shorten up the length. So we'll just go like that. All right, so let me finish doing these and then I'll show you what we're getting ready to do next. Okay, as you can see, Look, all of these has been cut already, right? Even the long ones when you first started seeing me, look, you can see I cut them like in half. I just wanted to bring them, you know, get them cut and then I cut them in half. You gotta remember, they going, you know, for the bite size, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead, take my cornstarch and my white pepper. I'm gonna just go ahead and sprinkle it. My soy sauce. And then my water. Right now, you guys can see it right there. What I'm gonna do is we just gonna give this a, a good stir. Stir. So this right here is like a marinade, and because we using you know breast, you know what I mean. It has a tendency when you cook it, it'll get tough on you if you're not right. If you don't get it cooked just right and get it off of the fire, right. So what I'm doing now is by adding the cornstarch, the little slurry, because we add the water in with it also and the soy sauce and all of that, what we're gonna do is put this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, and that's gonna like soften it up and keep it soft during the whole process of us uh, stir frying it. So, let me go ahead and put some uh, saran wrap over the top, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, and again, we are gonna put it in there for 30 minutes. That's all we need, folks, put a nice little chill on it. All right. Okay, now look, when I showed the ingredients, I didn't show the noodles. Let's look at the noodles right here. Here you go. Look, these yaki, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Look, yaki soba. This is probably what most people are probably gonna make these out of, right? Super easy. And uh, when I say super easy, I mean, it doesn't get no easier than this. Listen, if you follow the instructions, all you need is some hot water, right? So I boiled some water, just turned it off. You know what I mean? Uh, that's right behind me. I'm gonna bring it in front of me. We're gonna open these up. I'm only gonna use two packs. And don't forget you guys, the ingredient list with the quantities and the names of everything will be down in the description box below. All right, so I got it. You can see the steam coming off right now, so you know it's hot, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just open up these pack. This pack right here, with well, my kitchen shears. Now look, this is already sealed. And don't forget, look, the motto of my channel is simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking, right? So instead of us cooking our noodles, what we're gonna do is, you can see they pack, right? We just gonna lay them in the hot water, real easy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them a stir. We're gonna let them sit in here for about, uh, maybe about two, two minutes, whatever. And after about two minutes, we're gonna make sure that they're all separated, they loose. Okay, so now, listen, it's been in, the noodles been in the hot water, right? For about three minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and just take it. Just like you see that. And then listen, I'm just gonna move it around. Now, don't forget, 
if you want to make a whole lot for a lot of people, you know what I mean? It depends on how many people you're serving. You can just double this recipe. But this right here is fire. You know what? It'll do. Hey, listen, you get two nice bowl, nice size bowls out of it and everything will be cool. So I'm going to leave it like this in my sink. And the reason I'm moving it around is I want to make sure that it completely dries, right? So we'll just go like that. And then we're just going to leave it alone. I'm not going to shock it with no cold water or nothing like that. We'll just leave it like that. We want that to dry. So when we put it in the wok, it'll go ahead and uh, fry up. Okay. Now, we got our noodles. Those are drying off right now. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing my wok. I'm bringing my wok, right? It's bringing it up. I'm bringing it up to heat. So I got my uh, chicken. Listen, it's already out. We got this nice and nice and hot. Listen, you want to use a medium high heat and you want to put some oil in here because you don't want it to like, you know, to stick, right? So I'm just going to make sure I move this around. There we go. Might get a little smoky. Go ahead. Add it. And what I'm doing right now is we just want to move it around. You kind of like want all your pieces to be flat, right? So this is good right here. We're just going to leave it alone once you got all your pieces touching the wall. We're going to let this cook for about two minutes. Okay, it's been two minutes. What I'm doing is just rotating them. And then if you find that you didn't put enough, uh, if you find that you didn't put enough oil in here, you can just add a little bit more. But you can see right now, not sticking. They sliding around like this, right? I'm looking at my fire. I'm getting ready to raise it up just a little bit. Listen, so I'm just turning my pieces over, right? We're going to let this cook. We're going to take it to at least about 80%, right? Okay. Right. Just move it around. If you guys got one of these like little walk spastas or whatever, make sure you scrape that bottom. You know what I mean? We just move it around like this. This is the way you want it to look. We're about 80% done. So what I'm going to do is, let me get me a bowl. Now, I'm just going to take these and take them out. Turn the heat off. Remember, when you say the word stir fry, you know what I mean? When you use a wok, you use a lot of heat and it cooks really, really fast. If you're talking about having something ready in 25 minutes, this is on your table. And so there you go right there. Take a look at that. Man, these are nice. You can smell it. Now we'll move on. Okay, look, so I just went ahead and cleaned my wok, right? I wanted to show you, look right here. You know, like, okay, this is like water residue. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it and just wipe it. You just want it to be completely, you know, clear of the water. I know usually when we do anything like anything that's stuck on the bottom, we use that. We put some veggies in there or whatever, and then we go ahead and, uh, you know, use that for that flavor. But since we're doing it this way, and this is a stir fry, I like to start each section with a clean wok. Now, I'm getting ready to bring it up to heat. We want to have that medium high. As soon as I see it, you know, my, uh, my wok starting to smoke, then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put my oil in, and then we're going to start with our onions. Okay, you guys can kind of see it right now. It's starting to smoke, you know what I mean? So go ahead and hit it with a little, little bit of my cooking oil. First thing going in, my onions. I just like to get them coated, you know, give them a head start. And we got these going, right? Now I'm gonna introduce my celery. And my carrots. Now let's go ahead and get this going. Let me look at my fire, make sure I got enough heat. And notice how I'm moving it all around, nothing is sticking, right? And again, look, we don't wanna cook them down where they soft. We just wanna get them coated and just to begin to soften up. Right, we don't want them completely softened. This is good right here. And now I'm gonna go ahead, and I didn't show you guys this before, but listen, we're gonna put some garlic in here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce my garlic. And you know garlic don't cook long. So what I'm doing right now is just moving it around under this heat, and what I'm waiting for is where I can smell it. You know what I mean? Which only takes about 30 seconds to be honest with you, especially at this high heat. All right, we'll just keep moving it like this. Now we're just going to go ahead and add it. And with everything that's in here right now, you guys can see it's starting to come along, right? So I just want to make sure I keep it going. I want to look at my heat. I'm just increasing my heat now because 
once I dropped this in here, you know, it started to, you know, cool off a little bit. But we'll keep moving it like this. And now it's time to go ahead and add our oyster sauce and our soy sauce. So now you just want to move it back and forth just the way you see I'm doing right here. You want to make sure everything gets coated. So what you want to do is just keep moving it, you know, keep moving it around, keep stir, you know, stirring it up and then flipping it, you know, so that each side gets a chance to be on the actual walk. And then listen, if it starts to stick, all you got to do is add yourself just a little bit more cooking oil and just keep going, right? So once you got that coated and nothing else is sticking, go ahead and introduce your chicken. Now, the steam from your stir fry, that's going to reheat your chicken. It's going to, you know, continue to cook like that, but you don't want to overcook it. You just want to move it back and forth, right? And after that, then the last thing we're going to add, as you just saw right there, will be our green onions. And that's just the green tops, right? Because those are going to be delicate. So tell me what you think. And there you have it, folks. Take a look at that. Hey, so tell me what you guys think. You know what? Super easy. You're looking for something quick. And with those two packs, I'm going to just say this. You can get three servings out of this. Three to four if they small. Four if they small. Three nice size servings. Super easy. This goes very, very good. I, I want you guys to look at one of my eye cards up there. You know, I got that uh, orange chicken. You want to have that Asian type meal? This is it right here. Hey, so I'm not going to over talk it. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put some of this in the bowl so we can eat some. So let's grab some there. Ah, yeah. I want you guys to tell me what you think. You can just see how moist it is. Ah. Look at that right there. Hey, and then of course I want to get some of this, this chicken. You can see by the size of my hand how big it is. And you can see what, I, what I'm talking about is like this bowl, right? So this is a nice portion right here. This and the side, you got a number two at Panda Express. Hey, so <laughs> yeah, I will go ahead and I'm finna, uh, hey, we finna get it. Let me get my chopsticks. You know what I mean? And uh, let me just see right here. Hey, I'm trying to get work these chopsticks. Hey, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Me and chopsticks, I don't know if I even took the time to even really learn how to use it, but you know what? Hey, we just gonna put them in here like this. You know what I mean? Just for like a thumbnail purpose, we'll put them in like this. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a fork and we finna do it. I'm gonna do it like old school spaghetti. Mm. Check it out. Here we go. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Hey, now listen, I got it. It's me tasting the food, so I'm going to tell you, hey, it's A-OK, -okay, right? It's beyond that. But listen, when you make this, if you guys ever use soy sauce and you cook with that, listen, as soon as it touches your tongue, once it touches that palate, you know right off the back that, hey, it's something good. Then the next thing you're going to notice is if you put some chicken in your mouth, you know what I mean? This will tell you if you did your chicken just right. This right here is superb. I chew, as soon as I bite into it, it's still nice and moist. And that's what that process was, was about, about putting it in the you know, in the refrigerator and marinating it. Hey, uh, I don't know how to even say it, so of course I ain't gonna over talk it. All I can tell you is, listen, you gotta try this, make it. You wanna feed your family and fill up the stomach, this right here, do it. Hey, so with that being said, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey, so for those that's been watching me for a minute, you know what I'm about to say, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.